hello everyone how are you today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to create a report in Microsoft Access as you can see the database is open and over by the navigation pane I do have tables and forms so you can create a report either using a table or queries so I do not have queries on this navigation pane I'm gonna be working with either of those tables so to create a report before I create a report, I like to show you by the ribbon side. I do have by default the file tab, the home tab, create external data, database tools, and help tab. So you're going to see more tabs appearing when I create my report. So I need to now select the, ta uh, the table that I want to create a report on, report on. Now hover my mouse to the create tab, click on it. And here by the reports group, I'm going to click on the reports button. Now you would see that there's more tabs that has appeared in the ribbon. However, once I click on that uh, report button, new window appears by my object window. In layout view, you can also see by the start time. Um, status bar here the layout view is showing there so by default the report come opens in layout view and the ribbon displays additional tabs under the report layout tools you can see that the report layout tools here so more additional tabs are displayed which is the design the arrange the format and the page setup tabs so now that I have created a report, I'm going to go ahead and modify it. First and foremost, I will go ahead and click by click the report tab to save this report. So I'm going to right click on the report tab and then click on the save button to save this report. Or I can hover my mouse to where I have my file tab click on the save and also save the report so the easiest or fastest way for me is to right click by the report tab click on the save as always and then i'll call this i'll save it as report underscore employee right so i'll click or hit the ok button all right so let's see I'm going to take off that underscore and click on the OK button. So you just need to know why it's not saving. It doesn't save underscore or special, character, special characters. So that is my report. It's been saved by the navigation button. Now I'm going to show you the report has different views. And you can see the views by right clicking on the tab, report tab, right click. And here is the view, which is the report view, the layout view. By default, it comes in layout view, the design view, and the print, the print view. Now, you can also have access to the different views by going to the the file tab or the main ribbon. You'll see the views group. All right, let's see if we click on the home tab if it's still there. All right, so by the home tab, you will also find the views group. Click the down arrow, and here are the different kinds of views you will find in the report. All right, so we have four kinds of views in the report one is the report view, so the report view displays the complete report in a full screen mode, which is what you are seeing here. You can see all the data, but without seeing the actual number of pages it will take if you print the report. All right, so here I cannot see the actual number. So that's quite a lot of, um, it doesn't show everything that I want. And then back to that report. Now the print preview displays the report as it would print, including any header and footer information that you insect. The layout view, what it does is it is used to change the basic layout of the report, such as the fonts, the colors, 
size and position of your report. Now the design view is a more advanced version of layout view, more advanced version of this layout view. You are able to do more fine tuned changes as well as create additional fields and controls on the report. So I'm going to be showing you how to work with this first three, hopefully. I do not want to have this video too long. And then, all right, so that are, those are the four views you have in a report. So let's go ahead to customize. Like I did say earlier, in the layout view, you can make custom, you can customize your report. So you can see this report is quite large. You can delete, you can format, you can do anything that you want to do in the layout view. So here, I just need to click on the control that I want to adjust or format. So if I click on any control, you will see the borders or the edges of that control changes to yellow, as you can see here. Now I can position my mouse or my cursor to the edge, hold, click and drag to adjust that particular um, column. You see what I did there? So I can adjust the column so as to make my work look really cool. So on the column of first name, you, you would see there are some, uh, a lot of spaces there. So I can click on either of the control, position my mouse, click, hold and drag through to minimize or to reduce the column width. All right, so I can click on anywhere. Now I'm adjusting the column width. Here I can also adjust the column width. Here, this is the street address. I also want to adjust it. Click on the controls and then point my cursor to the edge there and adjust it. Okay, so that is a way you can adjust the column width. So here I want to show you, you can also delete a column that you do not want. Columns that you do not want to appear in your report, you can delete those as well. So I will right click I will select the column that I want and also press my control key down and click on the column heading, right click and scroll down to where I have the lit column. So I clicked on that, that is gone. So I'm going to delete a few columns just to show you how you can remove columns that you do not want to appear in your. So I'm going to delete more columns just to columns that I don't want to see in this report. I'll right click and delete that column. And then I'll click on this control and adjust the column width of city. It doesn't look okay. So I will extend it a little bit, the column width. Now the code here, I don't really need it. So I'll click then press my control key down, right click and delete the column. Okay, so this looks a little bit okay. So I would go ahead and adjust this other column by selecting that edge and moving it a little bit. But the column heading there isn't showing. So I'll come over here and adjust this column of street address. I'll click and adjust it a little bit. Click here, adjust a little bit. Click this, adjust a little bit, which is the date hired, and then extend this a little bit so I can see that particular heading there, which is SA Citizen. If you can see that. Okay, so I think I like what I see here. I'll go ahead, that is me adjusting the controls. Okay. I can also modify the controls. If you look by this edge, I can click on that part to select everything here in the report. You can see. Okay, so by me selecting all of this by clicking on that li tiny little square there, I have been able to select the data here. So I can go ahead and format the font size, the font type and um, color or background. You can do that in the report by the layout view. 
so here I'll scroll and click on the format button you can see that the format button and by the format group I can do the same thing I would normally do in my Microsoft Word here by changing the font type okay so I can change this to area and then I can probably change make it bold you can see that all right so that's because I selected that tiny little box there so I can change everything at once so I'll just remove that bold I can change the font color to green okay and then I can probably add a background to it if that's what I want but I'm just gonna take that out and leave it at that particular color so that is me just showing you that you can make modification you can modify your report just the way you want it so the next thing I like to show you see the the heading here is still employee and I want to I just want to modify this employee I can say employees report probably or quarterly report of employee or weekly report let's call that weekly weekly employees report employees report okay so you just click on that part on that heading and then modify whatever the heading that you wanted how you want it to be so I can click on that part as well as go and change or make that heading bold normally we do we love our heading to be bold and here you would see the date is there I can you see that control me clicking on that date right the control is there I can reduce the control there okay so I can also modify this because it's in the heading heading there I can change it so bold the date click on the time there and also bold it all right that's if I want to have the time okay I can as well just delete the time if I don't want it by right clicking at that part and then I'll click on delete if I don't want date to show I can also right click on that date um, section and click on delete okay so that's how to modify that's how to modify or format or adjust your report from the layout view I can also add header and footer to my report if that's what I want so to add head and footer just hover your mouse to the design tab and by you will see the header and footer group and that is page number all right in this header and footer group you would notice the logo there you can add a logo to the header by clicking on that point then you choose the sec um, the logo from your computer here you can further modify modify the title which I did in earlier on and here is the date formatting so if I which I also did here I can as well just go to that point the date formatting click on it uncheck this part if I don't want my date to be there uncheck and then uncheck this if I don't want to see date and time now to add header and footer or page number I'll click on that button page numbers so on this part the format I can either choose page 1 or I choose page n of m I can check any one that I want then position um, top of page which is in the header do I want it to be in the header then I'll choose that part bottom of page so let me choose that particular one alignment center so I like it the way it is so I'll just go ahead and click on the OK button all right so that's me adding my header and footer which is my page number to this particular point so I'll just go ahead okay one more thing I like to show you is the themes all right design and here is the themes so the themes I can check okay select any region here I want to select that region see that tiny square there and here I want to apply themes okay which is a theme group the font here I can choose any kind of font that I want let's see Calibri all right I think it still is in that Calibri 
Pandara so I want to choose this one it modifies this and then this is the things I can choose this things has names the office just pointing at it it will give you the name there facet and then if you look at the layout view it changes as well this is the gallery and here is integral okay so it all depends on what you want so I'll choose okay let me go with the whips okay the color also changes but at the same time here doesn't look okay my formatting has been uh, is distorted so I'll just go back and probably choose the first one so whichever theme that you choose you would notice that the formatting that I earlier made is also distorted so I'll click on that heading there and go back to home tab from home tab I can also modify the heading there all right so I'll make it bold all right back to my design view this is colors themes colors here you can choose any color of your choice all right so i like what i have there so that's you applying themes to your report once you finish applying all or modifying your report selecting the columns that you want to be displayed deleting the columns that you don't want to see in your report then you can go ahead by the report tab right click go to the report view and you will have something here all right so this is my report what i modified now it's in one page and that's what i want to see by default the report view comes in portrait format so to change the landscape you can as well go back to right click the report tab go to the layout view like I did say, most of the things for Martin is done in the layout view. Now, hover your mouse, so I'll go to the page layout view, and here is my page layout. So this is the portrait format. You can change your report to a landscape formatting. Okay, so what you would normally do in your Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or Microsoft um, Word basic formatting, you can do that in your access um, in your access and in the report as well so here is columns page setup all of that you can do that in the page layout section so I'm fine I like what I see so I'll take it back to my portrait format go back to my report view and this is it so I'll go ahead right click and save close my report now my report ease in the navigation pane and that's it for this video i hope you do like the video if you did hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button as well to stay updated for more tech tips like this and clicking the like button will help others who actually need video like this to see it clicking the like button helps the video to go even wide and people who might need this will see it clicking the like button doesn't take anything away from you but helps others to see it i'll see you in my next video